Open up your eyelids, the kingdom of the highest. We the real virus, wiping out the climate. Adapt to our environment with our souls in alignment. We on divine timing, bitch. We ain't never die. Move. Yeah. My dog. What it is, bro? The high energy storyteller people telling me you is. Yo, come on, man. That's, that's, <laughs> come on, man. Keep it low. Keep it low. How you, Not bro, really. man? Welcome to the museum. You know what I'm saying? By the way, make sure y'all hit that like button for us. Yes. It's real important. Please do. Real important for the museum. Subscribe. But, um, but no, <laughs> talk to us, bro. How you feeling? I'm amazing, man. I've just been staying busy, mm -hmm. staying active. I see. Uh, we, I see. Always, man. Always, always active. Always. So, um, all right. So, the last, like, we'll, we'll get right into it. We'll get right into it. The last project, Boston Block Party, was a real funky vibe. I'm actually really curious to ask you this, um, especially seeing as how the times in our generation and things like that. Like, mm -hmm. where does the interest in funk music come from, especially uh, with this generation during these times? You know what I'm saying? Like, where does that come from? Um, the funk influence comes from my family playing a lot of soul music in my house. Mm -hmm. um, they played a lot of James Brown, a lot of Michael Jackson. Um, I actually tailored the album, like what I wanted, the vision for my for like my album, I wanted like a rap funk version of Off The Wall. Off The Wall is my favorite Michael Jackson album Yo, of all time. No lie, I always said, it's like an unpopular um, opinion, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is like, unpopular. Oh, over Thriller, Thriller right? Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's sort of like me with um, Nas and It Was Written. I feel like It Was Written low-key with my shit over Be Illmatic. People, sl people sleep on opinion, It Was bro. Written. That was, that was the second joint, right? Yeah, that was the yeah, second Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. He had a lot more... Um, he was like wiser like than that, bro. Yeah. Like, it was like, I don't know, like the 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 topics was just like... I agree. Uh, I agree. Like, I, I agree. I agree. But, Illmatic and Thriller, Thriller is like like... Like easier to digest almost, and had all the videos. It had, you know what I mean. More like appeal. it was more, more commercial, commercial appeal. appeal. So did Illmatic, and there's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with it. So did Good Kid, Mad City. You mm -hmm. know what I mean. More commercial appeal. But my my album came out from like, like a genuine place. I wanted something different. I wanted. Uh, I wanted. I noticed that Boston didn't have a sound, and not necessarily that this was going to be the sound. But if I were to make a sound for like Roxbury or like my life, a representation, it is like Boston Block Party. Cause my family, we're big party heads. So we listen to a lot of different types of music. We listen to funk, especially when we party, we listen to a lot of house music, um, a lot of old school hip hop. So that's what I grew up on gospel. I grew up on a lot of those type of like things. So when I approached Boston Block Party, I thought, I was already making some funky stuff. I just I'm a very funky, colorful guy. So yeah. it was kind of a not a no brainer, but it was something it was it was a risk actually. It was a risk because I first, I started I'm a rapper. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was a risk for me to, to make something like that and almost not fit in with anyone. I feel, you know? I feel I mean, I've been saying this a lot lately, but I feel like uh I feel like Boston's like hip hop urban culture scene has like so diverse bro you know what i'm saying like i don't from 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 my point of view i don't think there is a you know a necessarily a fit and i feel like yeah. everything is really just kind of taking its place you know what i mean like mm. everybody's creating like their own lane on the highway kind of deal and i feel like that's what it is with your music personally you know yeah, I mean? yeah 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 definitely um but like the the scene is just like grown just just like so crazy though bro so like that's why like i feel like your brand of music is just so like dope because it's literally just Adding another flavor that people are like getting behind, you know what I mean? I agree. So I agree. Um, I think that's what's like real dope about it. Um, but I did want to ask. Um, you know, we're in quarantine right now. Yeah. What's the uh, what song would you say off the off the project would get somebody through quarantine? Ooh. <laughs> would get somebody through quarantine. The the crowd favorite is pool party. Okay, say that. People, say people that. love Pool Party. Pool say Party that. is, it can go, I mean, you can go anywhere with that song. But to get some money through quarantine, if you wanted some uplifting vibes, definitely turn, turn on Milk Machine. Okay. Milk Machine is uplifting. my favorite let's, song on there. Let's say, so if somebody's trying to turn up Pool Party, you know what I'm saying? They, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to get their, their diddy bop. You know yeah, you want, you, you want to go, like, you yeah, want to I mean? go uh, clean your house. 
Okay. Throw on, you know, throw on some pool party. Say if you that. if you feeling uninspired, throw on some milk machine. Say if you want to feel pretty, go 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 put on chocolate. Okay. You know okay. what I mean? Like like there's a okay, bunch of different okay, vibes. Okay. If you smoking, good put on the feel good song. Okay. You know, there's a bunch of different vibes in there. So respect, it's nice. respect, respect. All right, so all right, so those are the flavors. Those are the flavors. Those are the flavors. Um, so you're CEO of Most High Kingdom. Most 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 most. Yes, most. sir. Right, my man, my man, my man. What's I, I wanted to ask, and I, and I know y'all been working on y'all campaign for a while, and um, you know, really just honestly, just just hitting the ground, going heavy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, what's one thing that you would say has maybe been overlooked from your musical campaign? You know what I'm saying? Like from your like from your uh, f from your standpoint, like something that people will ha like, you know, might have overlooked now, but we'll have to pay attention to later, kind of deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. is there something that you feel like, you know, damn, like I wish they definitely like, you know, paid it paid, paid a bit more attention to that. You know what I mean? Mm. Because okay, the detail, the details that we bring, are the detail and skill that we pr portray. Mm -hmm. Uh. I think that it's overlooked now, you know. Like a lot of people will will try to put us in this place of or of of comparing, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, you sound like Anderson Pack, or you know, Sean sounds like I don't know. I've heard plenty of people say different things, but like, or Najee sounds like this person. And I'm like, uh, yeah, not yeah. really. You you know, because th these people these people they have their specific sound, and I feel like you're reaching when you're trying to put me in that in that that lane when it's not really my that lane. Yeah. So um I think people overlook like the detail and skill that we 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 have and what we put behind our music, the messaging. Um it is it is very direct messaging, you know what I'm saying? Like like yeah. I, I, I wanted to um get in, get into the song about the virus later on. You know what I'm yep, saying? Like, yep, that's that's that's, that's, that's a, a great, great example. example right? Great yeah, example. You know I mean? Great but, example. But, but, ahead, um, though, but I mean there's there's different things like the the ability to like on Najee's last album, the Purple Earth Theory, like he has a song for like all different types of moods, like inspirational. He he could tell a story. He can sing. Um, he can go uh, sing about a, a woman. He could talk. You know, he could do like po poetry. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with Sean. Yep. You know, and same thing with me. But like we're so well rounded. I feel like it gets overlooked because um, they're not used. They're not people aren't used to. Hearing those type of things, they are they're used to some type of well roundedness. Like Drake is well rounded, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but um, you know, I, I it's feel just like, not on that level, so it's not appealing yet. I, I feel guess. like with you know, I guess a majority of what's popular, you know, like what what y'all y'all are bringing through is literally like that different flavor of what's you know, I guess popular. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like yeah, you know I mean like. So I, I I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, and I, and I think it's it's sort of like one of those outcast kind of kind of situations. You know what I mean? I Where agree. Like they I come can, in, they they're, they're, they're different from what the normal sound is. You know what I mean? They start breaking through doors. People like yo, this just fired, and then later on, you know what I'm saying? Like so I hear that. I guess that that that's kind of like where like you know, um, I guess the inspiration for that question kind of came from. I can agree with um, that because I feel like that you know. That happens with most artists that have like more of like a specific, you know, kind of message to yeah. the music, as opposed to, you know, no, you know, for lack of a better term, what's the vibe right now? Exactly. Yeah, you know I mean, like we like, cut from that mold. You're yeah, right. You're you know right. I mean? Um, so who who is a part of Most High Kingdom though? Who's a part of Most High Kingdom? Um, so we have Gib DJ, who is our producer. Mm -hmm. We have Naji Janey, who is an artist. Sean Wire, also an artist. Um, Shy Rizza, also an artist. And um, my big cousin Brandon, he's a, a, definitely a affiliated. So he's damn near Most High Kingdom. Um, we just got to put that in writing. But Sha Rizza, artist, mm -hmm. Najee Janey, who is our A and R director of music. Um, Sean is our creative direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then Gibson, uh, Gib DJ, he's Sean's a B. Sean's a B. Yeah, 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 he could do he could do artwork. He could do all different types of stuff. So can Najee, but Najee's more on the development of like so you when when we're done with an album or something we go show it to Najee because gotcha. he's a he's the pickiest with the air mm. you know what I mean he's gonna tell you what's up what's up you know nah, what I mean nah, I need that. He's, yeah you, you that. always need, you need that, that that person like I heard Schoolboy Q say something about Kendrick being that person for him like yeah, Kendrick's yeah. gonna tell you it's trash yeah, yeah like this yeah, is not good this ain't it bro. Yeah, yeah yeah but you know you you could keep it or whatever but 
So Najee, Gib DJ, Sean Wire, Shy Okay, okay, okay. Official okay. members. So you're you're low key a teacher, right, bro? An educator. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying VPS product and representative. Yes, sir. Um, what's it been like keeping keeping the balance of that being a musician and all around, you know, this whole COVID kind of saga right now? Like, you know, how how's it been balancing absolutely everything and making everything kind of move in a in a good way? The cool thing is that I'm an art teacher. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, 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 it's not fine. like that I'm too much out of my lane yeah. when I'm doing when I'm teaching. Yeah. So um it's not it's not terribly tough. I get to make my own curriculum, mm -hmm. which is dope. Mm -hmm. Um before this COVID stuff was, was happening, I was teaching the kids about hip hop. Right. I was doing the four the four pillars of hip hop. We were on the graffiti pillar. We right. were they were doing their own tags and mm -hmm. everything. They were drawing their own tags and everything. Um but I, I've been navigating um, through like even before COVID, I've been navigating with the job mm -hmm. as an artist for as long as I've been chasing this career to be an artist. So okay. um, there's been so many holdups that I had to fight through, um, but we all know ain't no holdup forever. And I just had to make sure that I was always working on my craft, even while at the job. You know, I got lucky with this job. Like, this job is a job one in a million because of it's not totally outside of my lane. Right. This is the first job I ever had over, like, nine years, mm -hmm. ten years mm -hmm. of working mm -hmm. that is in my lane. Yeah. You know what I mean? I used to have to keep a little notebook in my in my pocket so I can jot things down whenever, like, I'm at, I'm at work just so I can stay creative yeah. and stay on my P's and Q's mm -hmm. because if you don't, you get drained out by that job and... No, it's true. I couldn't have I couldn't true. let that happen. You always gotta find little ways to kind of keep um, you know, yourself going with what you actually interested in. You exactly. Or else everything else will just wash it out, just like you said. Yeah. Um, but kind of getting back to the music, um, the virus. It was a, it was a huge drop. I seen enough people reposting the song to their story, so um, it was definitely moving for y'all and, and, and definitely fire record. Thank you, thank you. But um take us down the creation of that record. You know what I mean? Like what was what was the vibe like in the stew? Um, what what even inspired the record? Like you know what I mean? Like how did how did how did it, how did the people get lucky enough to get this? Oh man, it was actually a fire vibe. So let me let me let me map it out for you. We've been trying to make a Most High Kingdom project for a while. Mm, okay. Yeah, a lot of us we individually make music, and you know we'll get each other on a song here and there, but we always have like our own individual projects. Mm -hmm. So we finally made like we were like yo we're locking in. We're locking in. Nobody's going to say no like lock in this day we're going to make a couple songs. And then the the next day we're going to make a couple songs and we're going to keep planning it. But this was the first day. The first day we we told ourselves we we're going to lock in. Um I opened up. I was like yo it was me, Najee, Gib DJ, um a couple other people were there. Rob was there. Um I'm sure I'm Sean came in like a little bit later, but I set the intention. I said, "Yo, let's pray." Like we prayed, we prayed before, wow. um, before we made that song. And then after we prayed, you know, Gibby's always asking for like input. Like, what are we trying to do? Like, you know what I mean? We're like, yo, we're like, you know, new God flow type, type, yeah. you know, type yeah, yeah, yeah. style. Like, we're trying to like make something that bangs, you know, but it, that's not like a a banger, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, it's not yeah, like. Yeah. Something that's like super fun, but this is gonna like, yeah, be grinding. Shout and out to too, man. I hear a lot of people speaking real, real good. Man, about, that bro. man is the genius, the yeah, best man. DJ. I, I mean, the best DJ and the best, uh, the, other than P, D, Gibby is <laughs> Gibby is out of this world. Right, Pro bro, producer right. wise, he's the best. Respect. Producer wise, he's the best. Like, out of yeah. here. Um, and that's my dog for forever, but like. He started working on the drums, and then we have uh, we have Megazoid in the studio with us. So Megazoid is a is a group of producers also in Boston. Chop on keys, uh, Marco Marcel, Jalil, mm -hmm. and my man Antonio. I've heard of Marco Marcel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Marco is playing the bass line. Mm -hmm. He's playing the bass line. He came in a little bit um, a little bit after like Gibby already had like the drums down mm -hmm. and like the 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 melody down, and then. What really, what really knocked it like out the park was that bass line, you know what okay. I mean? So that bass line was crazy. So once we had like that, the the bass line and the drums, 
me and Naj immediately started writing. And then when Sean came, he started writing, right? And then I went in first. I already had a little hook idea. I just tried that out. Uh, um, open up your eyelids, the kingdom of the highest. Mm-hmm. We the real virus wiping out the climate. So like, I, I just put that down. I was like, Yo, y'all like that? You know yeah, what I mean? And yeah, it was like, yeah, 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 yeah that's just dope. Stupid, stupid, so I laid my verse, did the, uh, did the hook again. Then Najee comes in. Um, and then there was a little space in between. So my cousin, Brandon, he's mm-hmm. he's on the track too. He's the one that's singing, there's not enough love in the world. Mm-hmm. But I I was singing that. I was I was in my head, I was just like just singing that. And I was like, yo, Brandon, can you sing this? Can you okay. can you go do that? He was, he was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Sean comes in, and then Brandon is the one that suggested we do that. It's the most hot. Ha, in the most ha ha at the end, and we was just like yo, and it was it, it just all came together so beautifully, man. It also tell you that shit taught me a lot about um, it's not the first time I've thought about this, but about like having multiple parts in the song. Okay. You know what I mean? A bridge, a hook, like it's yeah. just always good to have. It's such a takes, full song. Takes you on the ride. Takes you on the ride. Exactly. Takes you exactly. on the ride. My man, my man, my man, bro. I appreciate that. You know what I mean? Of course, of course. Look. My man Milkshot Benedict pulled up on us in the museum. Yes, sir. You know I mean, I'm, ha- I'm glad this happened once again. Make sure y'all hitting that Yo, like button. Yo, please man. hit that like button. Make for sure y'all hitting real. that like button for my guy, man. Because this is yeah. a dope sit down. Y'all seen the passion behind my guy. Y'all Come seen on, the, the thought process, the the intricateness. You know what it is. You man. know what I mean. You know what it is. You know how I roll, man. My man Freestyle right. for us dog gave us a full display today. Yeah, you know I mean, but yeah. bro, where can people? You, you can follow me on Instagram at Milkshot Benedict. Yeah. You can um, follow me on, I mean, Facebook. You can look my, look on my name, Milkshot Benedict. Mm-hmm. You'll find me my artist page. Twitter is Milk the Lord. Milk, D A, L O R D. Milk the Lord. Milk the Lord. And um, Milk the Lord. I love you, bro. Like <laughs> I've known you forever, for a while since seventh grade. <laughs> I've known you. Fact, if y'all don't fact. know, Noble. Is a good basketball player and a hey, dancer. Hey, this man don't get don't hey, put on no hey. dance hall. All right, <laughs> don't put on no dance hall with Noble. Noble will will start no. Don't give him no henny either. Don't give him no henny either. I see the henny bottle the right side there. You know what I mean, we 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 killed the brown. We yeah, killed the man. brown. Yeah, My man. My dog, man. This was yo, fun, man. Bro, Make sure y'all press that again, like man. button for real, for real. We had a lot of fun here, man. It's it's, it's a beautiful thing you got going look, on here. My guy. Look, damn, damn. It's the Museum TV, y'all. Boss's <laughs> premier vlog, man. We'll Here? be back, man. Y'all already know. We don't y'all go I nowhere. Mean. Face your fears and use what's between your ears. It still stands before chairs, and that's not optional. Serious tone now, I guess I'll start talking low then. Maybe understand why I'm popping smoke. In and out my pocket like a Malcolm X speech. Hey, it's Noble, creator of the Museum TV. And I just wanted to thank you for tuning into Boston's premiere vlog. If you like this video, please leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I'll leave a few other videos around here for you, just so you can see how we're exhibiting the culture stories.